I do have a balance in my personality. If I had had that much love without a balance in my personality, uh, this wouldn't be a comedy show, this would be a rally. <laughs> and I received that balance at school. I was bullied every day of school, every day of school. Now here's the problem with me. None of you believe that. You're all sitting there going, where are you? I didn't look like this as a kid. My head was the same size, but the rest of me <laughs> was child size. So what happened was I was bullied every day of my childhood, and then I grew up to look like every bully from every movie ever. <laughs> And I know this because you, sir, as soon as I said bully, you stopped laughing and started holding your penis as if I was about to punch you in the dick and yell, jocks rule, nerds drool, and leave. And, it, and I gotta be honest, my mom was actually very good about dealing with it. She didn't let me dwell on, on the whole thing. I don't hold on to the trauma. Like I did find out two days ago, my biggest bully is now the janitor at my high school. Did I jack off? Twice. It felt fucking fantastic. But that was a true statement, and I feel very uncomfortable sharing it with you. And I'm with the people that didn't laugh and went, that's real, we're uncomfortable. <laughs> like, she, she, she helped me sort of get through it. Like, she would never let me dwell on it. I remember one particular case, I was seven years old, and they'd, they'd stolen my shirt and jacket. It's weird that you put on a jacket as soon as I said that, <laughs> as if to mock me. <laughs> well, I wasn't bullied. <laughs> Are you cold or are you on your way for a walkout? <laughs> Just cold. It's the problem with the, the, the heating in London in particular, is that no heater works. Oh, it'll be hot to the touch, <laughs> but there'll still be icicles in your bedroom. <laughs> so whenever you're performing, you just see people putting on coats and you just go, well, I guess I'm not doing that well. <laughs> and if you're like me and we're overloved, you'll react with a bit of rage. And then they're like, I'm just cold. Why are you yelling? <laughs> so please remain comfortable and calm, and I understand you're with him, and he is, he's a great man, but a cold soul, so you probably wear <laughs> that coat a lot. He's fucking laughing! <laughs> he's having a nice time, sitting there thinking, I make more in a minute than you will in a year. <laughs> right? Not quite. <laughs> you win this round. <laughs> She helped me find balance in the whole thing. Like I remember I was seven and they stole my jacket and my shirt and I was really fucking angry about it. And, and it was a Batman jacket and I fucking looked good. <laughs> and I remember she threw like pasta in a pot or something and she was just like, well, John, what happened? And I told her and she went, don't worry about it. You're gonna grow up one day and none of those people will be around and you don't need to worry about it. Tell me, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And I said, mom, I wanna be Batman because <laughs> Batman gets to hurt the people that hurt him. <laughs> now my mom, I feel, went the wrong way. She didn't rush me to a psychiatrist <laughs> and go, he thinks he can be Batman. She just kneeled down and just said, well, John, you can be whatever you want to be as long as every day you eat your fruits and your vegetables. <laughs> And she was a liar. She was a liar. I could never have been Batman. I could never have been Batman. She should have said, you can't be Batman. How much money do you fucking think we have? <laughs> she should have been honest about my genetic code. She would, John, you cannot be Batman. Batman is incredibly muscly. Unfortunately, you are 100% English when it comes to your genetic code. And you're not getting muscles, my friend. I understand it's very nervous, but just fucking be honest with yourself, people of England. I work out every day. There is effort that's been put into, into this. <laughs> I used a kettlebell, I did squats, I did yoga with fucking Adrienne, and this is the result of hard fucking work. She should have that very day said, John, you can eat all the fruits and vegetables you want, you can live every fucking kettlebell, do every dietary fad, here's the problem. Genetically speaking, you're 100% English, so every weight you lift, your body is just going, well, he's preparing for a war. <laughs> But genetically, he's 100% English, so he'll be in an administrative position. <laughs> Let's make sure he looks good rising from a table holding a glass of wine. <laughs> Just put this away before all, all the ladies get nuts. <laughs> By how horribly out of shape I am.